Paul Ricca was an Italian-American mobster who served as the nominal or de facto leader of the Chicago outfit for 40 years. In 1958 he was named the country's most important criminal by a Senate crime investigating subcommittee. Ricca died on October 11, 1972. Ricca was born Felice de Lucia on November 14, 1897, in Naples, Campania to Antonio and Maria Annunziata de Lucia. 1. He had four younger sisters, Emilia Beatrice, Anna Clementina, Clementina Eleonora, and Luisa Maria. 1. By age 17, he was working for organized crime in Naples, Camorra. In 1915, he stabbed Emilio Perillo to death on mafia orders. Ricca later claimed that he killed Perillo for breaking an engagement with his sister. In 1917, Ricca was convicted of murder, serving two years in prison. 3. Once released from prison, Ricca killed Vincenzo Capasso, who had testified against him in the Perillo trial, by slitting his throat. After killing Capasso, Ricca assumed the name Paul Maglio and fled to the United States through Cuba. On August 10, 1920, Ricca arrived in New York City. In January 1927, Ricca married Nancy Emily Giganti, who was also from Naples, and had three children, Mary Anna, Anthony Paul, and Paul Richard. 1. He became a naturalized U.S. citizen in 1928 and legally changed his name to Paul de Lucia. While in Cuba, Ricca had met Joseph, Diamond Joe, Esposito, a Chicago bootlegger and restaurant owner. After Ricca arrived in New York, Esposito brought him to Chicago, where he put him to work smuggling whiskey from Cuba and moonshine liquor from Kentucky to Chicago. Sensing Ricca's potential, Esposito appointed him as maitre d' at the Bella Napoli, Esposito's Chicago restaurant, earning him the nickname, The Waiter. The Bella Napoli was popular with many Chicago gangsters, including the leader of the South Side Gang, the precursor to the Chicago outfit, Al Capone. Sharing several mutual friends among Neapolitan gangsters who had returned to Italy, Ricca soon quit his restaurant job and joined the South Side Gang. In 1957, the federal government charged Ricca with illegally entering the United States under the alias Paul Maglio. Three years earlier, the government had located the real Paul Maglio in Chicago and brought him to testify against Ricca, whose citizenship was revoked. Although the government won a deportation order, it was later overturned. In 1959, Ricca was convicted of tax evasion and sentenced to nine years in federal prison. After serving 27 months of his sentence, Ricca was released. In 1965, Ricca was again indicted for tax evasion. In court, Ricca maintained that his total income for 1963, $80,159, was earned at the racetrack. Ricca was eventually acquitted. Ricca died of a heart attack on October 11, 1972, at St. Luke's Hospital in Chicago. 2. He is buried at Queen of Heaven Cemetery in Hillside, Illinois.